Hi, hello, 안녕, 내 입니다. 반갑습니다. 반가, 반가, 반가워요. Welcome back to my channel, guys. My name is Ray, and if you guys are new, please subscribe. If you guys are returning, thank you guys for coming back to this channel. We are back with another skincare brand review. This time, we're looking into Hamish's All Clean Skincare line. Known for their paraben-free products, also the entire line is vegan. They have effective ingredients that are gentle for our skin. This video is sponsored by Style Korean. Please show some love to Style Korean because they have been so supportive of my journey as a skincare micro-influencer, if you will. So I just want you guys to show them some love on social media. Just say, Ray sent us and say hi to them and say, 감사합니다, 고마워요, 정말 감사합니다. Because they deserve the love. They are awesome. But I also have to say and emphasize on this. You guys are awesome because you guys have been the core of this channel. Channel. You guys have been the reason why I'm still here doing this. You guys are the reason why this channel is still here. Come <laughs> Samita. <laughs> Although South Koreans sent me all these products, these are my personal and individual opinions because I'm very opinionated, as are all Americans, am I right? Alright, let's go. Let's dive right into this skincare brand review of Hamish's all clean skincare line. Kaja, let's go, Hamish. Who's Hamish? Yeah, why is it Hamish? First of all, I'm not someone who uses makeup, so I'm not the best person to speak about this product, but there's a big but, a big, big but, and that is I'm gonna demonstrate how effective this product is. Which product am I talking about, you might ask? Well, it's none other than the Hamish All Clean Balm. This is a cleansing balm, guys. You guys can't even see it because it's so blown out. Hold on, let me put here. Thumbnail. This is the Hamish All Clean Cleansing Balm. It's made of shea butter, white flower extract, citrus herb oils, I'm trying to look for the ingredients list, coconut extract. Do you know how gentle this cleansing balm is? It literally has shea butter and coconut extract. It can't get any gentler than that. So on Hamish's website, they're like, oh, use three to four scoops of this. And I'm like, no, don't. Guys, don't use three to four scoops. Like, I use one scoop and that is more than enough. I'm gonna open it for you guys here because look. Okay, you could twist it off first of all and you have the, I think they call this a spatula, a spoon. I call it a mini spoon, like the haagen spoons. And then you have this. And that's your cleansing balm inside. It's in a very solid form. As long as you keep it in room temperature, it's gonna be in a solid form. It's actually designed in a very, I would say smart way so that you don't have to like twist it off and get your hands all grimy touching up the container like that. Last time I did this, the spoon fell out. So I'm going to be very careful this time. So all you got to do is just pop open this lid. You guys, that's, that's it. And then you just lift this up and that's it. And you put it back together. I think this would be great for anyone who uses makeup every day and needs something that is quick, easy, and easy to travel with. So like I said, I only use one scoop as like a demonstration for myself because I was like, I don't think I really need it because I don't wear makeup and also I use a regular cleanser and that's fine. But this one was so gentle on my skin. But anyways, I only use one scoop and as soon as it touches my palm, and that's where I normally scoop it, I put it on my palm and then I heat it up with my body heat. Once it touches body heat or once it's exposed to just a higher temperature, it quickly turns into oil. So like, I have this puddle of oil in my hands with just one scoop. So I'm like, why would Hamish ask people to use three to four scoops? That's just overkill to me. Talk is cheap. I'm just going to show you guys what I mean. Kaja.
even though I don't have makeup on or I don't use makeup and I only really use SPF sunscreen every day, I definitely can use this because this contains white flower extract and also coconut extract no sorry white flower complex and coconut extract that's a lot to say by the way it actually helps clear blackheads and that's a major problem that i have with my skin blackheads so i might actually keep this for myself if i don't want to use it for myself i might just give it to my sister i think she's gonna really enjoy this one last note on this product is that it contains 10 different natural aromatic oils which would contribute to it having a scent aka fragrance yes do i mind it not really it's actually really pleasant it feels like i'm at a spa you know normally i hate scents that are so pungent and like so all up in your face this one doesn't feel like that this one is very calming i would say it's a whole sensorial experience right there and I appreciate it. Next we have the All Clean Low pH Balancing Vegan Toner. This is a very watery toner that contains AHA and PHA, aha, paha, perfect for removing dead skin that may have remained after your cleansing step. It's best used with a cotton pad, but you know, I'm pro-environment, pro-planet. I choose not to use cotton pads, but because the cotton pads actually help remove the gunk and dirt that's left over from cleansing. It actually does, I would say, elevate this product a little bit. But honestly, I just pour it on my hand and then I just kind of do this and I just like kind of put it on my face. So if you have cotton pads or if you have those reusable, what's it called? Reusable cosmetic something. The cosmetic, you know what I'm talking about, little cushions or whatever. You can put this on that and then use that to kind of remove any dead skin cells around you because this does contain AHA, which is great for targeting the surface level bacteria and also surface level gunk that's been built up as opposed to BHA, which goes deep into your pores and clears out all the sebum and sebaceous Blech. And also PHA, a more gentle version of BHA. I would have to say this toner is not as hydrating as I'd hoped it would be. Don't get me wrong, this product sinks into my skin so quickly, which means my skin is drinking it up. But it doesn't leave my face feeling hydrated. You know, like sometimes you use a very hydrating toner and after you put it on, your face kind of glows or shimmers a little bit. And then it would slowly fade into like your natural skin tone. But then this one, I don't know. I feel like I either have to put a lot on my skin in order to feel hydrated or I just don't feel hydrated with just a little amount. Normally I just use like my palm size. Like I would pour a palm size amount and then apply it. And with other toners, I notice that it kind of stays on my face for a long time, but this one kind of just either sinks into my skin really quickly or there's not enough to go around. And because it absorbs so quickly, I feel that I need to quickly apply a follow-up toner or a follow-up essence or serum to kind of make up for that lack of moisture. I gotta keep my skin fed, you know what I'm saying? There is no fragrance in this toner, so don't worry about that. It literally smells a little bit like, I want to say alcohol, but it's not alcohol. It just feels very, it smells very lab-like, you know, like a science lab, a warehouse, what is it, a warehouse, no, like a chem lab, it smells like that, <laughs> like, like a pharmaceutical chem lab, I don't know what I'm talking about. I think this toner is great for oily skin types, but for drier skin types or even combo skin, I would say follow up with a more hydrating toner if you have one or with something like an essence or a serum that is designed to keep your skin moisturized. It's also cruelty free just like the other products so that's something that's very awesome in terms of Hamish's uh, standpoint is to keep this product line cruelty free, vegan. It doesn't really affect the functionality of what it can do for your skin but it's really nice to know that they care for the environment and also they care for animals because animals i love animals all right next we have the all clean this is a long name i gotta read it the all clean low ph aha pha aha paha hydro vegan essence this tiny little bottle, it's almost done. I need more. This, to be very honest, is my personal favorite. It is the best product out of the entire All Clean line by Hamish. This is a chemical exfoliant, but it is possibly the most gentle chemical exfoliant I've ever used. There's never a stinging sensation, which I would sometimes get when using HAs and BHAs. This is perfect for everyday mask wearers because it helps unclog pores and controls sebum production for a very long time 
while keeping your skin fully hydrated throughout the day. It's so rich in hydrating ingredients such as shea butter and ceramide NP. We already know the great benefits of shea butter because we've seen how great shea butter is in other products, but also ceramide NP we know from past products that we've mentioned here on this channel. Ceramides are basically the building blocks of our skin barrier and ceramide in skincare products helps stimulate our skin cells to kind of rebuild that cell block to keep our skin barrier protected. I love the packaging as well because it's so convenient to use. Pump bottles are honestly my favorite at this point because I just take it anywhere I go, it doesn't leak. My only problem is it comes in a 50 milliliter bottle and I'm halfway through it. It's only been like two weeks, I think. I definitely need more of this, so Hamish. If you see this video, send the brother some more of this good stuff, okay? Hamsamida. This is actually the best follow-up product to the toner because this actually makes it for this toner's lack of hydrating properties. Last but not least, we have the All Clean Blemish Cream. That rhymes. That's awesome, that rhymes. I have a lot to say about this blemish cream slash moisturizer is it even a moisturizer honestly i'm so confused but i've been using it as a moisturizer and it's been working fine actually not just fine it has been amazing first of all i don't think i've ever used a moisturizer that is remotely close to this texture it's so buttery and thick and i've never seen any moisturizers that are like this. It leaves a white cast on your face so you really have to work it into your skin in order to get rid of the white cast. Unless you like the white cast and you can just sleep with the white cast on your face and let it slowly slowly simmer into your skin. But I prefer not to have that because I, I don't like anything with white casts. Nope. I really like using this moisturizer at night because it's almost like a sealant. It locks in all the moisture in your skin and prevents any transepidermal water loss. Also when you wake up in the morning you have this natural glow to your face from this product because it's proof that your skin was truly nourished throughout the night. However, with that being said, I honestly cannot use this during the day because it leaves my skin very greasy and I don't know why but like overnight it's fine because I would wake up and my skin isn't as greasy as I normally would be but for whatever reason when I'm using this during the daytime my skin just overproduces oils I don't know why but I have to say this this blemish cream gets the job done like done check off the list submit the application it is done also, when the seasons change, like right now, we're kind of at the cusp of spring and summer, but also right when I first started using this skincare line, it was right when spring started to enter New York City, and my skin was changing because my skin was trying to adapt to the warmer environment, and so I was shedding, my skin was shedding like crazy. I remember just getting all these irritations and bumps around my jaw area, because that's my natural reaction to the seasons changing. I would say this blemish cream evens out your skin tone within a matter of one week. And if you keep using it, you're definitely gonna see better results and more results. So that makes me wonder what ingredients they have in this blemish cream, because as I was testing these products, I told myself I'm not gonna look at the ingredients list because it's gonna obscure my judgment. I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna look at the ingredients list because I want this to be a very fair experiment. I want want this to be a very unbiased experience. So about a week ago, I finally sat down and I looked up the ingredients list. And I know this is a very bad way of handling skincare products because the ingredients list is designed so that consumers like me would know what ingredients are in the products in case I am allergic to them. Luckily, I was not allergic to anything in this skincare lineup. Thank God, but I was like, you know what? It's a risk I'm willing to take for the internet. So the two key ingredients are the kakadu plum extract. I hope I said that right, because it sounds like the kakadu plum extract, which is dubbed the queen of vitamin C. It is said to be 100 times more effective than vitamin C extracted from citrus fruits like oranges and lemon. Of course, we know that vitamin C is 
kind of like the best at evening your skin tone and also brightening up your skin. Like that's the main function of vitamin C. Vitamin C is also very much known and notorious for evening out and fading hyperpigmentation, AKA dark spots and acne scars and all that. So the other key ingredient is actually none other than niacinamide, AKA vitamin B3, AKA our skincare best friend because it does the most and works so well with other skincare active ingredients. Not to mention it's great on all skin types, like anyone with reactive, sensitive, dehydrated, combination, oily, dry, all types of skin would benefit from niacinamide. Just a quick little refresher on niacinamide or vitamin B3. It helps minimize the appearance of pores and helps strengthen the skin barrier by stimulating the skin cell regeneration rate. It can also do what vitamin C does, basically. It helps fade hyperpigmentation, it evens out your skin tone, it helps brighten up your skin, making it appear less dull. I typically use a vitamin C serum before applying the blemish cream and I know it's kind of overkill because this one has a vitamin C in it and then I'm also using a vitamin C serum, but I trust using a vitamin C serum over simply just relying on the fact that this product has vitamin C in it. One is concentrated and one is just simply added onto a product. And the last note I have for this blemish cream is that there is a very, very faint scent to this product. So there is a little bit of fragrance. It's, yeah, I, I would say like a honeydew, maybe like an antelope. I think it's like an antelope. But other than that, I'm fine with it. I really like it, but my favorite product out of all is the essence, the Hydro Essence. Well, that is it for this video. My honest thoughts on the Hamish All Clean Skincare line. I think it's a very solid lineup, though I would probably replace the toner with something more hydrating, to be very honest. It does a job as a chemical exfoliating toner, but it doesn't do enough for me in terms of the hydration department. So I would just kind of maybe replace it with one of my more favorite toners out there. I'm not a fan of cleansing balms or balm cleansers in general because I prefer pump bottles, like kind of like a liquid cleanser because I need it to be in the shower as I'm showering and usually the last step of my shower is cleansing or like facial cleanser. I can have a cleansing balm in the shower because number one, the humidity and the heat inside the shower would quickly just literally melt my cleansing balm. I would probably get water in it, which would then further melt it. I hope this video helps you better understand the Hamish All Clean Skincare line. I will leave the links to all these products in the description box below for you guys to check out at Style Korean. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And join the skincare family. Once again, 감사합니다, Style Korean. 정말 감사합니다. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. 감사합니다. Oh, Korean. <laughs> Until next time, peace. And please come back later, Tuesday. Oh, Annyeong.